Ooh, hello everybody, my fellow miners and crafters, good times, it's Scar here, and welcome back to Scar World, where we're creating this super awesome modern house, and in today's episode, we're gonna make a super awesome basketball court, so let's get this episode underway! Alright, and welcome back to Scar World here, where we're building our super awesome s'more house, and we've got our exterior, we've got our interior, all set up and ready to go. Now all we need to do is finish up our landscaping. And as you can see, we've been working super hard on it, getting it all set. In our last episode, we built all these beautiful lawns, pathways, overhangs, chairs, and custom trees, all setting up our design for our backyard. Of course, we have a big giant pool that's gonna go here. Now it's not quite as big as this giant section that I've excavated, but uh, it'll be pretty cool once we get it done. And then we have some beautiful designs for our right hand side. Now let's sneak on over here, and this is where we're going to build a basketball court. That's right, I've never built one before, but I think I've got a really nice design ready to go. But before we do that, we need to decide what makes a good basketball for Minecraft, or maybe basket block? Maybe basket block, because it's not a ball. Hmm, I don't know, let me know. Is that right, basket block or basketball? Which one do you guys like best? But anyway, I need your opinion. So as you can see, we've got A, B, C, and D. So D is my personal favorite color, so it's a really nice dark orange for making a basket block. Um, but uh, I really like A because of the stripes, because of the stripes actually in a basketball. So let me know, what one do you guys like best? Do you like A? B, C, or D? Let me know in the comments and I'll kind of tally up to see which one is the number one choice. You can let me know in the comments of the video or of course on Twitter, link in the description. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys like best and let's get right into it. So we're gonna start right over here and we're gonna go a boom and a bam. And from this block right here that we're standing on, we're gonna go from here all the way down to there and that's 21. So we're gonna build up a nice line going like this all the way across there. And then from that block right here, we're gonna go 17. So all the way down to here, 17. So let's get this all set up and ready to go. All right, and welcome back. So we've got that all set up and ready to go. And of course, from these blocks in the corner here, all the way across was 21. And then from here, all the way down there was 17. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the beautiful white clay, as you can see, and attach that to our milk chocolate. And it'll look very cool. And it'll create some of the definition of the court. So that'll look pretty cool. So let me know, what is your sport what is what is your favorite sport to play or you played in the past uh, my personal sport like i've talked about in the past uh was always swimming that is what i did all of pretty much all of my life um was swimming and what we're going to do from here is we're going to go from this block right here we're going to go two so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten beautiful and then we'll sneak on over here and do the same yeah, twice a day, sometimes in the summer, three times a day practices with swimming. That is what I did, but uh, I want to know. I want to know, what is your what is your sport? What what have, what have you played? What are you playing right now? There we go. So as you can see, we're going to bring this out to one, two, three, four, and then come back over here, go two blocks like that, and then bring that like so, so you have a spacing in two, and then we're going to sneak over here and do the same over here, just to make sure everything is lined up and symmetrical, just the way we like it. There we go, looking good, looking good. And then we'll bring this like that, so we have a spacing of two. All right, so I'll just do a little overhead shot of that so you guys can see what that looks like. Beautiful. But uh, yeah, basketball was always something that uh, I really liked. I, I never really did it competitively. I never, um, I never really knew the rules, to be honest. I just liked playing basketball. I like to kind of just go out by myself and just constantly swoosh those three points. Um, that was my thing, like I could hit the three points fairly, fairly easily. And uh, I don't think I ever would have been good like competitively, but by myself, I had a lot of fun playing basketball by myself, swooshing those shots. So as you can see, we're just kind of running some green across here. There we go, there we go. So at least this is the basketball courts I played on. These were kind of the colors. Um, so that's kind of what I'm modeling some of this after. Um, you, you know, your courts might be a little different, a little differently designed, but uh, at least eh, this is kind of what mine look like. There we go. And then when I was a kid playing, there we go. I would love to play basketball again. Like that would be amazing, but it's just not something that uh, unfortunately I can do anymore. There we go. So let's just do a quick overview. So that's kind of how we're progressing. So we're kind of getting there. Um, I can see a couple small modifications I may make. So 
let's uh, keep that in mind. There we go. So now what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to fill in this section across here. Uh, but yeah, when I was uh, when I was growing up, um, swimming was my main sport, and then running was kind of something I, I did a little bit competitively. Not a ton, not a ton, but uh, I loved uh, I loved the jump. I don't even remember what it's called now, the long jump, I suppose. And uh, I I really enjoyed that. Um, I really enjoyed that. That was fun. It was something that I wasn't that great at in track. I was better at longer distances, but uh, I really enjoyed the jump where you jumped off into the sand. Aha, that was super fun. Anyway, um, that is the design. Let's fly up here so you guys can see a good overview and count out blocks if you need. So pause the video if, if necessary to uh, count those out. But I think that's a pretty good, you know, design for a basketball court. So whoo, there we go. Hit that shot. But you might be wondering, Scar, there needs to be a basket for this basketball hoop. And uh, that is true. That is very true. So let's get that working. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out our black stained clay. And we are going to go, I think we're going to go back one. So we're going to have a spacing across here. So I was deciding, am I going to do it, you know, straight up here or back here? And I think I'm going to go back here. I'm going to count that as one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cut that in. We might do a half slab or a stair of nether brick to kind of blend that in a little better. And I'm going to go out two blocks like so. All right, are you following me here so far? Looking good so far, I think. I think we're doing good. And then I'm going to come under here and I am going to go boom. And you guessed it, a bam. And I'm going to sneak up here like that. And then I'm going to say that's looking good so far. Then I'm going to come under here with some quartz. There we go. And I'm going to sneak up on the top and do some additional quartz. And then come a boom and a bam. And then bring that on the top and around. And then sneak on this other side over here. Now we're going to need to go into our magical inventory in just one second here to get ourselves some iron bars. And now that's the part that I need to figure out. Let's see. How do we want to actually incorporate the iron bars here? I'm going to cut over it like so. And then maybe see if that works. Yeah, there we go. We've got ourselves a basketball hoop and ready to go. That cow over there is like, that's the most amazing basketball hoop I have ever seen. Anyway, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, I like that quite a bit, actually. Um, you know, if you want to adjust this a little bit, you can, you know, add an additional block there and push it over one. But I feel like this is accurate. I feel like this is accurate. We could also, you know, go like that, too. Uh, but that seems like a little much. I think I'm going to back that off a little bit. And yeah, I'm really liking that. So next thing we need to do is kind of enclose our court. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of cut out some of our bushes. There we go. Cut out some of these guys. And I'm going to go up to about, about there is good. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to run this all the way across the flanks and the sides and the front of the basketball court. So let me do this and get this all finished up. And welcome back. And look at how cool the basketball court looks from a distance over there. It looks quite inviting through the trail, leading into it with all the beautiful plants. And of course, we have our wall built up. And as you can see, the surrounding area around the basketball court is definitely going to be spruced up with all sorts of cool little trees and details, so it won't be so bland. But we've got a couple more things to work on here. And of course, that is some benches. So we're just going to do a couple quick benches. Just a couple quick benches like so, and then bring that across there, looking very fancy. And then that's a spacing of two. Now I'm going to sneak on over here and do the same. So let's drop that into there, cut into there like a so, and then run that across there like that. Just a couple nice little benches across there. And now let's go over here, and I hope you guys have decided what one you think would be cool. I think I'm going to go with A for now. Uh, just keep going back and forth between this one. I even like this one because it matches the same kind of tones of the orange that this has and also has some little spots. So I don't know. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't know. We'll see. And then I'm just going to line this up symmetrically with this block over here. And I'm going to go like this. I'm going to cut into here like this. Let's just see what we can do here. So let's move that over one block also, and then I'm going to go boom and bam and then I'm going to place two blocks like that, and then I'm going to place one there that is ready to roll and is ready to go. So that looks good. All right, so now I'm going to jump over here, and what I want to do is just run some additional blocks, if I can, kind of on the sides here like that, and I'm just going to go just a little below the window. There we go. Bring that up like that, just to give this side of the house here just a little bit of style. There we go. And then we can do that all the way across here eventually. There we go. 
And then what we can do too is just make a little nice design here. And this just brings everything together and starts to make things a little bit more cohesive. There we go. Looking good, looking good. So that looks, that looks relatively good so far. I'm liking that. And then of course, what we can do like we've talked about before is just take some plants and you know stick them in these little corners like so. Grab a little bit of, let's see, let's actually grab some of this. There we go, cut some of that in there. Just to give this area just a little bit more plant life, grab a little bit of grass, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then what we can do is just, you know, come back here, stick a little bit of grass there for now. We can always work on more of this stuff after. Um, so we don't have to spend too much time on that, but there we go, my friends. We have ourselves a beautiful new basketball court for our, our modern house here. And I always like to add at least one type of sports uh, court to uh, my house, and I think this was a fun one to do, um, to do basketball. This was actually your guys' choice from way back at the beginning of the series, when I was like, what kind of sports court do you guys want to see? And basketball was definitely the number one. And we got some cool little benches. We have some pretty accurate lines, somewhat accurate for a half court. And we've got our basketball set up here. And the reason I left that one off, of course, was because I placed the, the ball right there, or basket block or whatever we call it so let's hit his shot there and yeah well guys this has been good times with scar and i always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and if you believe the video deserved a rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll see you later and don't forget to follow me on facebook and twitter